coach, um, on the eve basically of the Olympics and track and field, you seem to be in extremely very good spirits. What accounts for that? Yeah, well, in good spirits. Prior to when my athletes are going to run, you know, I just want to see what they're going to do. So. What can you tell us about what they're going to do then? Well, I'm not a prophet. So I can't tell you what they're going to do, but they seem to be okay to me. Coach Sharika Jackson suffered what appeared to be an injury. I don't think we've heard from you or anybody else on an official word on the, the health status, the injury status of Sharika Jackson coming into the championships. What can you tell us about that? Well, I think that's something you're going to have to address to her medical person. But as far as I know, she, she appears to be okay to me. Okay. And in speaking, in, a, in speaking about Kishane Thompson, he's competed once in the national championships and every competition he's had this year, every race he's finished, he's run sub-10. Talk to me about Kishane Thompson's progression this season. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> everybody knows how he has done his times um, and I, I can't predict what, going, what he's going to do. Just to say that, you know, he's, I don't think anybody has yet seen him run. If that's going to happen this Olympics, I know for us that will be. Given what you've seen so far, um, how confident are you that his first showing will be a memorable one? Because um, Jamaica has not had a global men's 100 meter title in eight, eight years. How good do you think his chances are to, to break that drought? Every race has eight people. And to win, or come second or third or whatever, depends not on you, but on what the other people in the race does. I'm in no position to predict <coughs> what anybody else is going to do. It appears to me that he is at least as good as he was in, in junior ch championships. So we see. Coach, mental picks on him, you know, everybody's expecting him to. Is there? Yeah, everybody's right. expecting him to, to win based on his performance. 977 at the national trials looking back. But why, would, why is that with mental pressure? You know what I mean? I don't see the pressure. Because at the end of the day, uh, everybody is talking about experience and enter. It's all about speed. Right? When the gun fire, you run from there down to there, sir. Whoever gets there first wins. I'm quite so it has nothing to do with experience or mental pressure or whatever. He just has to be able to execute as well as he can. You don't know how to slow down. Um, the first time you tried to slow down the child, he uh, almost fell. You slow down every day in practice? He almost, he almost fell, that's what he said. Yeah, you were concerned? No, I don't. I have no concern. Doing the rounds? No. I don't understand. I mean, he ran 982, 984, and 977. Not even Usain Bolt has ever had that kind of series in a championship. I don't say what anybody's worrying about. He has done, he averaged 981 over three rounds. Maybe you're saying did the same thing in 2009 when he ran 958. But I don't think anybody else has, has done that. I mean, and I'm, I haven't checked everybody, but I have checked a lot. So I don't see what anybody's worried about. He, I don't think based on his June ship, he has much to worry about the rounds. So <coughs> coach, I think he's part of Eugene. I mean, otherwise, you just run. Coach, tell me, speak to me about Tia, coach. You know, she has been improving immaculately this season. Your thoughts on her, and what are your expectations of her going into this her first Olympic Games? Well, again, uh, the only question is if she will be at her very best. Um, she was, she did not, she was slightly off at the national championships, and I'm expecting that this time she will be at her very best. And we see what what that happen, what, what happens as a result. Does it keep, um, in 2008, you know, see Shelly just came out of uh, maybe maybe no no words in terms of win the title. Obviously, you had a um, some inside information back then, but do you get the same kind of feelings from 2008 to, um, this year with Tia? Well, no, she, she, Tia is young. She she's nine. She's twenty next month. 
at the same, at the, at, at the time when Shelly won, she was relatively mature. She was she, had, she was 22 that same year. Um, so it's all a matter of what Tia wants. Um, Tia, Tia, probably with youth doesn't. Nobody knows how she's going to approach it, but what I do know is that we're hoping that this time she is going to perform at her best. So viewers and subscribers, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another one here on the show. Really appreciate you. And um, some people will say the mystery has been solved because cameras, action, everything, Netflix people, them roll up. Seeing, yeah, man, they roll up and they uh, basically was at the. I don't know if I'm gonna be pronouncing this properly because you know, me in a, in a the French, uh, I, I'm not that Frenchy in my speech, yeah. So, the uh, update from training today is that Cherica Jackson is at Complex Sportif de Ilides Vanes, yeah, Ianes, whatever the pronunciation is. So that's where they were training and the whole Netflix team roll up basically from what we see on the cameras, action. Yeah, we saw a video where um, intense or what could be deemed as intense instruction was given to Tia Clayton, you know, as she goes through her paces with um, the one Dan Stephen Francis. Yeah, so it is what it is at the moment. You understand? And um definitely uh I guess this will soothe everybody uh because you know it, it it is clear that people were really wondering what was happening. But you know, and everything good for it, good for talk. So it is now revealed publicly. So when we say this for the people that will come talk about Ray and Tay, everything that I speak it can be said publicly see it? so yeah man that is where they are training and the sherika jackson tia and everybody was in in full tilt in training you understand um it is what it is at the moment so um she was sherika actually was a scene leaving the, st um, the stadium or the practice venue um after her workout you understand so definitely we will see what is coming up where that is concerned now stephen francis did a, a, a little interview and he said pretty much as far as he knows sherika jackson looks to uh looks okay to him you understand and he can't predict what kishin is going to do just to say that I, uh, he doesn't think that anybody has seen him run at his maximum. Seeing? So that is what Frano is saying at the moment where Kishin is talking. And as you can see in the initial video, Frano said, well, not talk about experience. As far as I know, a speed. Remember me, they tell you that. Remember me, they tell you that. Say, a uh, speed. He do this thing and I know experience are the fastest man across the line. Yeah. So when me hear friend said this, me just laugh. <laughs> you see it? Because me know. Me know say yo, I speed do this thing and know experience. And you know why? Because you see and bold prove it. Shelly and Fraser Price prove it. A speed will take you across the line. No experience can a hundred meter, you know. Straight line. What I can say is that experience have a lot to do with that. Seeing? In terms of your hole in your nerves and all of these things. Yes. But experience is kind of shoved to the side. It's more of execution. I know how fast they run that straight line. You get what me I say? So... It's about holding your nerves at the line, at the starter. It no matter how much experience you have. When you go to that start line, you have a feel a little jitter. Yeah, everybody have blood around through them veins. So you have a feel a little jitter. It's now how you hold that jitter, react to the gun, and go through your phases 
of that 100 meters. So your execution, your acceleration, which is a drive phase, should be up and running. Yeah, and you gradually get into your transition and then you hit top speed and then you maintain that. See? So that is basically what 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 that execution should be. Hold your nerves, don't swim, don't panic. Just trust your fears, trust your dry fears, trust the process of swinging to the line. Yeah, and, and, and you'll get it. Because once you reach top speed, you know, it's how much you can maintain that top speed, you know, after 60 meters, you know. See? And, and, and Kishane Thompson has proven that he's not one that will fade after the drive, uh, the, the, the acceleration phase. So, the man, Stephen, Stephen, I make sure say, yo, all of them are talking about this experience and all of this thing. Listen, I speed win this thing. So, from now, I make them know I go on. You get to me, I say, yeah, man. I'm glad when Frano say them thing, you know, because when me say it, it's like people are doubt. And then when Frano come and say it now, it's like, oh, coach look like this and coach look like that. Yeah, man. People, remember when I say in Frano, I trust. Don't give up right now. Is it me, I say? If you don't trust in Frano, do not give up. Up. Frana is the strategist. Frana is the mastermind. You get what me I say? So Kishian and, and as 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 Frana say, you know, nobody no really see what Kishian do yet. And me I tell you no. Me I tell you no, me tell you no already. Seeing that I do believe based on trajectory, based on what I've seen so far from Kishian Thompson. 9-5 can run and call me Idiboo, call me Dilulu, call me all, sty all type of loo. But this is what I said, data, data we work with. See? And, and, and that's something we learn how MVP do them thing. In a man say, a friend say, be a of data. So the man say, I have data from when? 2000 and about 3, 2005. That is very critical. Very critical to any athlete's development. And if you might carry data for Kishian, from, from, from when Kishian start run, you know, that data is going to produce. I remember these people do time trial. These people do projection. These people do um, compare and contrast what you did last year to this year time. So that is going to tell you. So the, 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 so last year workout, you did this time and it, it allowed you to go 9-8. Nine, nine, this year workout cause you, um, you improve on those times in your workout and it cause you to go 9-7. So that I tell us, be a Spanish shaving half a time where I go on and you know, see him run to him maximum potential. Trouble. Trouble. And I ask you know that. Me na ask you know that. You see me, I say? So, people, big up on yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, man, I don't know it. Go now. We na say no more. Big up on yourself. Oh, we need to say this. Later is going to be the prediction show. On the half a day. Yeah, man, it's like a hot.